Stay tuned for today's three-minute product review. Welcome to RV Retirement Redesign, where we are redesigning and redefining. We're redesigning our retirement and redefining RV living, not because we want a cheap way to survive, but because we want to thrive in this new season of life on our terms. I have been wanting one of these little mini waffle makers for quite some time. And I did a little bit of research and looked at the different makes and models that are out there because they're not very expensive, so you know they're probably not going to last a very long time. Anyway, there seems to be two major brands, the Nostalgia and the Dash. And I just thought the reviews kind of balanced each other out. There might be some pieces that some people like about the Dash, some that they like about Nostalgia and vice versa. It was easy for me to get the nostalgia, and it came in teal, which is kind of my kitchen, one of my kitchen colors. So I went ahead and got this one. The thing about these little mini waffle bakers is that they are so easy to store. For my first batch, I just used a regular recipe. I think it was even in the little you know, direction folder that comes with it. Uh, but I do have another recipe that I really like and I'm gonna uh, put it in the comment section below because it has a great flavor and it's gluten-free for those of you that need a gluten-free recipe. Bob is more of a egg guy than a waffle pancake guy, or if he has pancakes, he wants eggs with them. So I went ahead and made up the, um, the waffles and added some eggs for the protein piece of it. Now, they do take a little while to cook. It's a little waffle maker. It doesn't have the huge power it built in it like the big waffle makers does. So while it gets hot, it doesn't get so hot it cooks them fast. But if there's only two of you like for us, or if your kids don't mind waiting or they want to make their own, this is you know a really good option. Now, the next step that I did is after we had our breakfast, I went ahead and made up, because it makes up quite a bit of batter, and I went ahead and made up all of the waffles from the batter that was left over from breakfast. I put two waffles in each of the little sandwich baggies, and then I put all the sandwich baggies in a freezer bag and put them in the freezer. I laid them obviously down flat so that they would freeze that way. And I wanted to see how they would taste, pulling them out of the freezer, either to make breakfast or a snack. And you know what? It was really good. I toasted it and it came out very nice, lightly browned on each side. And of course you can toast it for as crispiness as you want. I put a little bit of organic peanut butter on it and it was a great little snack. So there you go, your three minute product review and if you get one of these and you liked it, let me know. Come back into the comments and tell everybody your experience. Hey, thanks for tuning in today. We hope you liked the video and that you got a few great ideas. If you liked today's video, would you please do us the favor of liking and subscribing? We appreciate each and every one of our viewers. We're so glad you came to visit and we'll see you next week.